if you're into gaming or if you're into esports, which if you're on this channel, I would assume most of you are interested in it, you've probably heard of the site called Twitch. Now, over the past few months, Twitch has made a lot of questionable changes and it honestly just gets worse. Twitch has decided to make a change to their branded content guidelines, which essentially means a hashtag ad stream. An advertiser goes to a streamer and they say, hey, we wanna give you money to advertise our product. Very common in all of content, and this is what they decided to do. On-stream logos are limited to 3% of the screen size, which if you don't know how big 3% is, here's basically 3% of your screen. You got the whole stream here, face cam, which maybe is about six, 7%, and you got a logo, which honestly, it, in the grand scheme of things, I don't think that's a big deal, 3% of your screen, but I don't understand why they're even limiting that in the first place. It just seems odd. The big thing is they say you can't have burned in video ads. So if you've ever watched uh, any esports broadcast, when they say, hey, the match is over, we're gonna go to a quick break, don't stop, uh, we'll be back with the action. Usually, right when they say that, there's a big ad that comes on. If you watch Rocket League, it's usually Mobile One. If you watch, I don't know, other esports, <laughs> League of Legends, I've seen them have like a Honda ad before, I'm pretty sure. But usually there's a commercial break where they play a burned in commercial. It's not a Twitch ad, it is a ad straight from the broadcast. The broadcast is playing the ad. And Twitch has said that these are no longer allowed. And this is the big one, really. The other two I'll show as well, but it says you also can have burned in display ads, which is like a little I don't even know what to call it. That's more common on YouTube. You see them like YouTube banner ads. I don't really see display ads all that often. And they also said no burned in audio ads, which I've also never even seen a burned in audio ad. But that's kind of besides the point. I think what they did here is that they said, okay, you can't have a burned in video ads, uh, a video ad. So they also banned the solutions to that problem as well. I do want to show that this is actually on the Twitch website. It wasn't just some random tweet. You know, if you go to their actual Twitch.tv, their articles, you know, it's here, it's real. So this was actually posted by Twitch. It was, it's on their official site. And one thing that I do hope is that it's a mistake just on the sense of like, you know, maybe it's cope here, but this does say formats limited or not allowed. So it says or, you know, limited or not allowed. So it says streamers may not insert video ads directly into their streams. Like this is, uh, this is a 100% no, streamers may not. But then this one says it's limited. So I'm kind of confused on that. Maybe they just mean like certain broadcasters are going to have the rights to be able to do that, which I assume would be people affiliated with Twitch. Now there's tons of frustration with this because one, you know, a few months back, Twitch announced that they're no longer doing 70-30 splits for content creators. You know, when somebody would sub to you on Twitch, you would get a 70% rev share. Some some people would get a 70% rev, rev share. Most people were on a 50-50 split. Twitch downgraded that. They said, hey, everybody gets 50-50. We're all equal here. So everybody gets a 50-50 split. And now they're doing these branded content guideline changes to where you can't have ingrained burned in ads on your stream and so these are two things that have directly affected me uh you know the 50 50 split whatever i kind of brush it off i was pretty annoyed but this one is even more frustrating because you know to a kind of solution to that 50 50 split i was saying to myself okay i'll try to get more branded stuff on my stream so i'm going to do more esports events so i started hosting a bunch of esports events if you guys saw you know the LAN event that we hosted last september it was called turf wars we've hosted the draw which is in affiliation with a brand as well and we also hosted a couple other things and the main way that you end up getting advertising money the main way that you get funding to even make those events possible is to have a burned in advertisement in the broadcast that is one of the most valuable assets to offer to an advertiser you say hey we're going to play your 30 second ad on stream every single break give us money and now i mean according to this it's just purely not allowed so this whole thing affects all of esports really and, and you know there, there's going to be if this does go through and I, I do think it is twitch has made horrible decisions in the past and people always say oh no they can still turn it around clearly this is so bad that they're going to turn around Twitch never turns it around. Twitch never does. They end up, you know, they, they do something that affects everybody negatively. And that obviously some are not some people, obviously everybody did not ask for, and it harms a lot of people. And they just kind of stick to their guns and they say, Hey, we're good. Actually, we're not going to change that. We're going to stick with it. So to me, it doesn't even make a lot of sense why Twitch is even doing this in the first place. Is it because only Twitch is allowed to show you know, burned in video ads. Can you only do a burned in video ad if Twitch gets a cut? Is that how it's gonna work? 
Why are they even limiting this in the first place? And a lot of esports uh, tournament organizers have already, you know, already just brought this up because Twitch is like the home of esports. You don't really host an esports event on YouTube unless you're like Call of Duty. You don't really go to Kick and host it. You don't go to, what is it, Rumble? Is that what the other one's called? I don't know. You don't go to all these other sites and host uh, uh, an esports event. Nova ends up saying, heads up to TOs. As I understand this, video ads are now no longer allowed, which is essentially make the platform unusable by any tournament organizers who use sponsorships with ad plays, which is almost all of them twitch will literally kill esports on your platform and if this does go through if this is actually a change that happens you know i said that hopefully you know it's like a typo because it says limited then it says you can't if they don't reverse it which i don't think they will i don't think it's a typo i i'm i'm saying it but i don't actually believe it i think twitch is actually going to go through this but this to i'm, I'm sure they're a to are completely right like the video ad spot that you sell to a sponsor is again like i said one of the most valuable ads or one of the most valuable things that you can offer a sponsor and cutie cinderella chimes in as well and she hosts the streamer awards which uh, is an award show for streamers i don't know if you could figure that out but it's a award show for streamers otk hosts an event called games expo where they show these burned in video ads constantly and this is how they pay for the events. And so Cutie Cinderella says, not sure how Stream Rewards or OTK Games Expo or the Game Awards are going to be able to exist. And I mean, it's a simple tweet, but it's completely true. Like I said, very valuable ad spot right there. And the thing is that doesn't make sense to me again is why is why are Twitch even getting involved in this? Is it so that they can boost up their bounty uh, program that they have where Twitch ends up taking so much of uh, an advertiser's revenue. If you don't know what the bounty program is, essentially Twitch's way to bring advertisers directly to the streamer. But the problem is, you know, if I were to get a an advertiser deal myself through my agency or whatever, I would get X amount of money. But if I took basically the same deal and the same requirements from the bounty program from Twitch, they would give me about 20% of what I would make if I went and got the deal myself. So Twitch takes a large, a massive chunk just for bringing you the deal when it's not even, you know, basically with, I mean, I guess it could be within their right to do so, but it's essentially like a, a scam. I mean, it's, they're completely taking advantage of the situation. They just offer, you know, I, I don't know, ease of access, but if you saw the advertiser wanting to advertise and you went to that advertiser yourself and said, hey, I can just do this if you just don't involve Twitch, which I assume is probably against their rules or something, probably sign a contract where they can't do that, but that would make a lot more sense. And this should be no surprise to a lot of people, but this has obviously pissed off a lot of streamers. Here's Asmund Gold talking about it just a little there bit. There's no reason for Twitch to do this other than to monetize, monopolize, and take advantage True. of smaller streamers. Tell them. And keep in mind, this is all streamers. This is fucking somebody like yep. me over, and it's fucking over the event organizers. Andy, that you watch for your own niche game at night. This is fucking everybody over in a way that does not need to happen. And he's completely right. There's no reason for Twitch to get involved in the middle of this. I, I genuinely don't even know what. Because when a Twitch makes a decision like this, obviously somehow, some way, it affects their bottom line. It affects them making money somehow. That's why they're going to do this. The way I I think it affects them is because if I get a sponsor from, uh, I'll use my podcast as, as an example. If I if I get a sponsor from Chotcast and I have Ch a Chotcast video ad playing on my stream, which by the way I thought about making one, but now I'm like, can I even do that? Uh, I thought about making like a meme one, but regardless, can I play a Chotcast? video ad on my stream. If I do that, does it affect the ads that Twitch actually plays on your stream? You know, before you go into a stream, you get some ads. As you're watching a stream, a streamer might play some ads. Does it affect that? Is it better for the advertisers who not have other ads on the stream while they play their ads? Is that the reason? That's the only logical reason I could think, because if you have uh, two car co companies, say like, say I'm doing a sponsored stream for BMW, right? And my stream says, oh, BMW, watch this BMW commercial, and it's 30 seconds, and it, brrr, car goes crazy. And then I play some Twitch ads, and then there's a Honda ad in the Twitch ads. Is that why? Is that the reason? So obviously a bunch of streamers are, one, confused, also pissed about it. Event organizers are pissed about it. A bunch of people pissed about it. And then also uh, this tweet from the, I believe the owner, uh, the co-founder of OTK. OTK is a big group of streamers. They're essentially an esports org. Without the esports, they're just an organization, and they have a bunch of streamers signed onto them. And they go on to say, if this goes through, OTK Network will be leaving Twitch, and Twitch has some of the biggest streamers. You know, Asmongold is one of them, Mizkiff is one of them, and they have plenty of others as well who are huge. They're massive on the platform. They basically run the platform. This is a direct attack on our business staff and all of our hard work we have put into our organization. And 
these guys, what uh, Cutie Cinderella said is they host the OTK Games Expo, where they play burned in video ads. I mean, sponsored ads and then also game gameplay ads of games releasing within, you know, the coming year or whenever. But anyway, they, they play a bunch of ads, essentially. Um, and that's how they make their money. That's how they run the expo. That's how they run the show. And this is also, you know, it doesn't just affect their game expo. It affects the streamers as well. And it's not super common that a sponsor comes in and asks you to play an ad. Like, if I, if I me individually, if I were to do a sponsored stream, it's not common for, it, for them to say, hey, we have a 30-second commercial. Can you play it on your stream? I would say, sure, of course, you know, if I'm going to take the deal. But that's not common. When it's common is when you're doing a broadcast, uh, like an esports thing, a game expo, anything like that. That is when you get the advertiser involved with some sort of commercial like that. Regardless, that's Twitch's changes. I'm incredibly confused by it. I was incredibly frustrated by it. I made some tweets. I, I don't even think it was out of, I mean, it probably was out of frustration, but I don't think it was out of line or anything. I try to make a bunch of esports events and then I just get absolutely fucking shafted. So I don't even know, bro. I'll keep trying, but now I can't sell that slot anymore. So that's about it. <laughs> See ya.